in the failed Delmar Loop trolley that cost taxpayers tens of millions of dollars, now asking for more of your money to get back on track. After a disastrous start, they're now telling St. Louis officials they're taking a new approach. That's tonight's. You paid for it. The Del Mar Loop trolley that cost taxpayers $51 million has been shut down since December of 2019. They closed before the pandemic hit. Now they're trying to get back on track. They've applied to East West Gateway Council of Governments to get more of your federal dollars in hopes of getting rolling again. Here's the East West Gateway Executive Director, Jim Wild. How much is the trolley organization asking for and how much are they willing to put in? They're asking for $1,260,000. They're putting in another $540,000 uh, for a total of $1.8 million. And what that will cover, according to the request, is two years of operating and maintenance, four days a week, eight hours a day, and it would be a fare free ride for that time period. The trolley rolled out in November of 2018 and just lasted a year. First off, their revenue projections were way off. They thought they would make about $394,000 off fares in the first six months of operation. Instead, they only made about $22,000. What do you think went wrong with this project? In terms of actually rolling it out, um, I don't know that uh, as good a job was done in terms of educating people about it, including people in the process, and showing people what value it could add to our community. They spent years rolling this thing out, getting advanced publicity about it out, and building anticipation. So it's not like they had to do it overnight. They were at this for years before the thing ever got rolling. Yeah, I just don't know that they did a great job of doing that. I think that they uh, feel like it didn't really get a chance to to show its its value simply because it opened, and then we they went into you know, shortly thereafter into the COVID lockdown. The Loop Trolley is applying for the new federal money under the Congestion Mitigation Air Quality Improvement Program. It's competing against 14 other projects for that money. The Federal Transit Administration says it is eligible, but whether it will get the money, well, that's another question. It will need the okay of the East-West Board of Directors that's made up of government leaders like mayors and county executives and board chairmen in our area. Do you think governmental leaders are likely to approve this money for the Del Mar Loop trolley? I'm not sure. I'm not going to speak for my board members. Uh, they all have decisions that they have to make based on the calculus that they use for their decisions. What do you think is the likelihood of the trolley ever getting back on the road? I, if you were, if you were I, odds maker, if you were giving <laughs> odds. Well, I don't play the ponies and I don't do much in Vegas. Um, I think there's a lot of people that support the project and there's a lot of avenues that they're going to be trying to pursue to keep the project going. Now, East West Gateway will go off for public comment on September 10th and 11th. You'll be able to comment on that agency's website. Certainly, I'll stay on top of this deal. It's already cost taxpayers a pretty penny. After all, you paid for it.